All right, here we go. Problem number 15 of 15. This is our last problem from our 1316 homework number three. And they want us to write the trigonometric expression as an algebraic expression in terms of u. So what I'm going to do in this problem, I'm going to do more work than I have to in order that you will be prepared for a problem that's not as easy as this one, okay? I'm doing extra work for your benefit. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to notice is we have an inverse cotangent of u in the parentheses. Remember that an inverse trig function equals an angle theta. So we can say that theta is the inverse cotangent of u. And then if I bring the inverse cotangent to the other side, that's going to turn it back into regular cotangent of theta. So now we have cotangent of theta equal to u. If you recall, the inverse cotangent angles are restricted to be from 0 to pi. And we need the outcome to be positive. So the only way that we can do x divided by y and have the outcome to be positive is if we're in the first quadrant. So we know that our angle is going to be a first quadrant angle where this is the x coordinate or the x side. This would be the y coordinate or the y side. And this would be our radius, which is also the hypotenuse of the right triangle. Now, at this point, we know a couple of things. If I make this u into a fraction by putting it over 1, we know that the ratio for cotangent is x over y. So here we can see that x is u and y is 1. So I'm going to fill those in on my right triangle. And at this point, I don't know the radius, but I can find it using Pythagorean theorem. So setting up the Pythagorean theorem, we're going to have x squared plus y squared equals r squared. That's going to be u squared plus 1 squared equals r squared. And then I just need to solve that for r. Uh, so really all I need to do at this point to solve that for r is take the square root of both sides. And I can see that r is the square root of u squared plus 1. 1 squared is 1. And then I can fill that into my picture. And now I have all of the sides of the right triangle, which means that I can now find any trig function that's asked for. So if we look at our original problem, they wanted us to find tangent of theta, okay? So now with my triangle completely filled in, I can now answer the ultimate question, what is tangent of theta? Well, we know that tangent is y over x, where y is 1 and x is u. Now, do you see what I mean by I did extra work for your benefit? Notice I did all of this work to find the radius, and I didn't even need it. But if I was not asked for tangent, like if it would have said sine or cosine, I would need that, okay? But our answer for the problem they asked for should just be 1 over u. And we're going to plug that in and see how I did. Ooh, yeah, and we're done. Man, that's fun. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.